Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. I am Pixelated Twix, and I do thank you guys for coming along on this journey through Dragon Age Origins and hopefully through Dragon Age 2 and through Dragon Age Inquisition. But before we begin um, the journey of Natalia Kuslin or continue with her journey, I'm going to point out the most obvious thing here is that my character looks nothing like the character that you previously saw in the last episode, only because... For some reason, the mods are not working well in uh, Dragon Age for some reason or other. I have no idea. It keeps crashing. So I took out all the mods in the game and basically started fresh with a, a new look. So we have the same character um, as far as like her name is concerned. But Natalia Kuslin has a whole entire new look. So we're going very vanilla with this this whole playthrough, which is unfortunate because I wanted to kind of add a little extra spice to the gameplay, but we can see that that's not going to happen. Anyways, now to prolong this, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on just in case you're like, hmm, something is wrong with Natalia, obviously. All right. So the last time we left off, we, we met up with Duncan. Um actually Duncan and I traveled to Ostagar after the death of our, our parents, most likely the death of our parents um, because of the attack on the Kuslin family by Arl Howe. So we've met up with King Kalen. King Kalen is um, leading the siege against the Darkspawn. He doesn't seem to think that this is an actual blight. Duncan, however, seems to think that it is um, and cannot convince or Cannot convince Kaylin otherwise, but Kaylin to me is a little um, blindsided by his own um, need for making a mark on the world, you know, because he, he wants fame. He's already a king. He has fortune. He's obviously has some kind of fame, notoriety in uh, Ferelden, but he wants more. He wants to be written in the books of old books of yore with other famous kings that fought alongside the Grey Wardens. Um, but, uh, so we are here. Okay, so I'm back. The game crashed and I finally decided that I've had enough. Enough is enough and I can't stand anymore. Basically what's going on is there was a memory leak and it looks like that I fixed it with a, some kind of patch that some amazing coders have figured out how to get the game to run because it's an old game i realize that so it's going to have some problems some kind of memory leak that the game has so patched that up got it to work looks like we're hopefully clean with it i don't know we'll see i kind of want to put some of my old mods back in but i'll leave it be i've got some mods in here put those back in not a whole lot going on here um, but, um, if you'd like to know what mods I have in the game, I can definitely list those in the, in the description box, but otherwise you probably don't even care at this moment. I'm just glad that I can get the doggone game to work. All right. So let's take a walk, shall we? Hello. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Mmm. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I'm looking for a gray warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Okay. Uh, where's Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Okay. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Well, who's going around swinging dead cats? That's what I want to know. Um, is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Okay, um... Would she ask where the king was? She just talked to the king, so I don't think she would. The Circle of Magi is here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy, quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, hmm. all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Hmm. 
I could see the Templars glaring at the the mages. Um, do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Mm. Terrible. Okay. Mm, I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, then. Thank you. So Ferelden is known for their Mabari hounds. Obviously, we have our own Mabari hound. Okay, so we need to be looking for Alistair. So um, maybe we could check the camp while we're on our way. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. Okay. No problem. I will... Hello. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Thank you. Allow me to introduce myself. Link? I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Hello, Wynne. Pleased to meet you. I am Natalia. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Sure. Um, hmm. Will you be fighting beside the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You've faced the Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Um... How much would she know? Would she know anything? What does the fate have to do with anything? I think she would know something. Because it's well known. She, would she know about the fade though? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe she would know. Because the fade isn't necessarily something that she would have any experience with. Unless she was a mage. So, what does the fate have to do with anything? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die... It passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. I've heard of that. Doesn't, didn't something happen there? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Mm. Okay. And this is true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Sure. Hmm. Let's see. Don't you have any proper advice? So I think that comes up a little rude. I'll just kill every dark spawn I see. No. Wisdom kicks in. At least it's something to ponder. Yes. Occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Death is no failure, my friend. Okay, so... You will not have failed Thank you, Wen. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, if you'd when excuse you me, we are praying. Okay, sorry about that. I obviously did see you guys praying. My bad. Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. You're not what I thought you'd be. And who are you? What did you think I'd be? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, me and Sir Knight were just betting on what the third recruit would be. Not a woman. Yet, here you are. The name's here Dabbit. I am. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Hmm. Hello, Zavith. Uh, what do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. 
Maybe they will, we'll see. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Mm. Let's see. They're forcing you to be here. I wouldn't be here if I did. I'm looking forward to it. I'll watch your back if you watch mine. Yeah, I suppose I would say that. Oh, I'll watch your back. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Not expecting that response. Um, you're a charmer, I see. Or I could just kill you. Just don't get too distracted back there. I'm not flirting with this guy. He's a creep. You're a charmer. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> anyway. I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Normally I wouldn't say somebody like that was a creep, but he does just come off completely creepy because he just was just, he was just, maybe not creep. Maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. I would say like player because he was just talking to the blonde and now like, you're a player. You're a player. Okay, let's go. Quartermaster and who are you? Well met. Well met to you. Have you here. seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Ah, uh, no. Blast it! Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back, or by the maker up. No. Oh. Pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Um, do you need help tracking this girl down? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find it myself. No, I actually don't. Uh, except I'm supposed to go meet some guy named Alistair, but... Um... What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Mm -hmm. Strictly off the record, of course. Of to course. Keep morale up, you understand. Sure. No problem. Let me see those uh, other guns you've got. So long as you keep it quiet. Ah, it's between me and you. Let's see what you got. Oh, I can't afford nothing in this uh, this here stash you've got, sir. Uh, maybe I could sell some things. Let's see. I can get rid of that. Mm, probably get rid of that. These are better than what I have. Light armor. This is the same. I'll keep that. I definitely want to keep the Kuslin shield. I'll get rid of the iron ring. I don't know what to do with this, so I'll keep it for now. Not sure what to do with this stuff. So it looks like... Yeah. I still don't have enough to buy anything. Not really. What else you got? Hello again. Is there something you need? I want to see some your other stash. Perhaps. Yeah, so let me let see me what, know you... what you'd like. Okay, maybe this is more my speed. It is not. There's like... I'm broke. How much money do I have? 11 silver. Yeah, you know what? Thanks, but no thanks. Um, what's over here? Long ash bow. Let me see. I'll take that. Oh, I could have sold these. Let's grab this. Take that. Um, let's go find... Oh, let's talk to the Tranquil. Welcome, young woman. Uh, who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. That's Enchantment it. provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Okay. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Um, because magic is powerful and dangerous? Yes, I would say so. She would know that. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents 
attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Hmm. Okay. It sounds like a horrid practice. Kind of does. Perhaps they should tranquil all mages, and she would not say that. How is someone made tranquil? How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. Mm -hmm. So normally he would have some kind of branding on his forehead, as he said. It would look like a sun, like a really fancy sun, but... For some reason, the lack of detail in that regard has been disregarded. Um, and there is a mod that actually adds that back into the game. Because I think other iterations of Dragon Age have the symbol on the foreheads of the Tranquil. But they all sound like this. It's like really m monotone voice. Um and from what I remember with the, the Trinkle, if they cannot pass some certain test um, that they need to all do, if they can't pass it, they're made Trinkle, or if they voluntarily, they can, I guess they can voluntarily make themselves Trinkle um, for fear of maybe being possessed by demons, because if they're possessed by demons, or if they're... Um, Tempted to dabble in blood mag magic, they can become extremely dangerous. Or if they don't know how to handle their powers, they can become dangerous as well. So the life of a mage is not easy. I feel badly for you. I feel badly for you. Um. Yes, I do. You do. Yes. I feel nothing. You don't. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive productive and no danger to anyone surely that is not a terrible thing actually Perhaps this is horrible we may speak of something else no i do you need assistance no i'm done i uh, uh, what is an enchantment it is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves the tranquil have learned their runes and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects we create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. Mm. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Okay, what sort of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Gotcha. I should go. Goodbye. 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 Okay, where are we going? Uh, oh. That course of action is inadvisable right oh spock i will go all right so we need to be looking for there's a chest over here we need to be looking for alistair anybody over here that we can talk to servants i have urgent duty sorry okay no problem okay leather boots see if this is better than what I have. Can I use these? I can still I can use these now. Okay, so this is better than okay, yeah, I'm looking good. Look at that. Okay. Alright. Um let's head back. What is this? What, what was that? Quartermaster. Okay, what is this here? War console. Okay. Okay, this is Alistair up here. Let's chit chat with Alistair for a little bit. Are we matching? What is it no, now? we're not. Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? 
Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you mm. by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Mm. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. Wow, he's, he's pleasant. You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. I agree. Uh, you are a very strange man. I know exactly what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Sure. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Mm, no, I'm not. Less being yelled at for me, then. Though the day is still young. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit. I am. Hi, Eva. Yes. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Not a problem. And you must be Alistair. Did Duncan mention me? Yes, he did, Nothing actually. Bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Of course. Um, pleased to meet you. My name is Natalia. Right. That was the name. Yes. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I've heard this before. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Um, and there goes the dog. Probably because we're too smart for you. No, see, that's not. No. You want more women in the Wardens, do you? Yes. Would that be so terrible? Not that I'm some drooling lecher or anything. Please stop looking at me like that. <laughs> so I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? I have not. No. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Sure. Um, first of all, uh, yeah, well, that argument I saw, what was it about? With the mage. Yes. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Well, that would be awkward. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Sure. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Hmm. What about the other recruits? Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? I have met Davith. Right. That cut purse Duncan conscripted. I'm not sure what Duncan sees in him, to be honest. I don't Even either. I am, maybe we'll see the other one. Sure. Or I can track him down later. Okay, well, let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. All right, tutorial. Party members and tactics. When you're not controlling them, party members act according to tactics you set. Select Alistair by left-clicking on him or his portrait. And then we need to click on this, the highlighted icon. And we can go ahead and customize his tactics. Basically, how uh, Alistair will interact with um npcs or the the mobs so i am going to ooh, excuse me sorry i'm going to make him a tank um just strictly a tank i might go back in here and well i probably will add some things later but for now he is strictly a tank and we'll leave it at that and we have a new codice for alistair oh i almost missed that Oh, well, first of all, yeah, Alistair, you're, you, you can't, you can't do anything with that. Oh, runes. Oh, I got a helm. Um, I might download the mod to remove helms because helms in this game are absolutely horrendous. Look at that. She looks like a Q-tip. Straight up. Okay. So what do we have? We've got the Tranko. We got the chest that we can't go in. The quartermaster, what do we have up here? Let's go up here. Infirmary. Let's see. Nurse. We could talk the to the I bless you today. May you find favor in your eyes. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The dark spawn are coming. Um 
There are Grey Wardens here, you know. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Was he having some kind of premonition? Um, is it possible he has important information? The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. Uh -huh. You, you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Don't look at me. Um... And not for nothing, but the voice acting in this game is top notch. Okay. Um, who else can we talk to? Can we talk to this guy? It. I can feel it inside me. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there's Jory. J Jory? Jory? No, Jory. Greetings. Jory. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Hi, yes. I am Natalia. Sir Jory is my name. I hailed from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I was not aware they permitted women to join the Grey Wardens. I... None of those I've seen thus far have been. You are not the first one to say It's like everyone is saying this today. Um, I can handle myself. Is that a problem? I can handle myself. You obviously impressed Duncan, and that's enough for me. Yes. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Sure. Um, I don't know. She wasn't too, like, keen on joining the Grey Wardens. As a matter of fact, she refused. So I don't know if she'd be excited about all of this. Um, I wouldn't be here if I had a choice in the matter. I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? Only that it's dangerous? Do, do we know that? I don't remember. Um, David said we might have to go into the wilds. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Sure. Okay, anything else? Oh, there's a chest over here. Some arrows. Um... How do you do? Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. You are very bloody, sir. I suppose sir. you've come to sentence me. No. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Hmm. Okay, tell me why you're there first. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Are you really a deserter? Um, did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. It matters to me. If your cause is just. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, dearie. How about you marry me instead? At least I could get a kiss before they hang me. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Hmm. Probably tasty at this point. All right. Why haven't they fed you? I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Why would he give you his food? The hungry deserter. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Cruel. Um, who is this prisoner exactly? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Maybe. It seems like a waste for you to guard him all day. Why did he want to desert? I mean, I would imagine he would... Want to desert because he doesn't want to die, right? I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. It was. He claims he wasn't deserting. He asked for food and water. Let's see. He asked for f some food and water. Did he now? 
Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Yeah, basically. So you miss one meal. This man could have could be hanged soon. Yes, persuade. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before yes. he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. It's your food, not mine. All right, dude. So? <laughs> brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Yeah, here's some food. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. You're welcome. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. Thank you. Hey! My bed. My belly thanks you. At least if I'm hanged, I'll have a little weight on me. Okay, well. Let's see. Okay, so we should. Uh, what is this? Kennel Master? Let's talk to this guy. Yeah, oh, look at the little baby. He's sick. Oh, yeah, that's locked. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Sure, Half okay. The dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. Oh, it's terrible. Well, can I help? Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready. Obviously for not. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. All right, let's talk to Duncan then. Hey guys. You found Alistair, did you? Good. Yes. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, I am ready. Of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. Mm? She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. Sure. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. Okay, um, and what do we need the dark bomb blood for? For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. Um, and what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. Uh, what kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Okay. Is this part of their, our joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. Wow, thanks. Right, find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay, quest completed. New quest, the Grey Warden's Cash. And let's see what we have here. So we need to get Tainted Blood and the Warden's Cash. Um, we need to talk to these people? Me? Oh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turnlow Gain that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Are you yeah, talking no, to me? Oh, you're, okay. Were you looking at me? I didn't. Okay. You obviously weren't talking to me. Who is this guy? Welcome to the king's camp, my lady. Okay, thank you. Is there anything over here? There's a chest up here. Let's go get that. Who's this? Oh, gang's guard. Elven messenger? Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. Is there something you needed? Mm, no, I I just overheard you talking to the other guy. <laughs> what am I twelve? Like going through puberty? Um, no, I just wanted to talk. You want to talk to me? I I'm not in trouble, am I? No. Why would you be in trouble? 
Not that I know of. Oh, that's a relief. I'm one of the king's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Okay, let's talk to Logain's guard. You approach the tent of Tern Logain. State your business. Um... Why so formal? Tell me about Terran Loghain. How can you not know of Loghain? Because I don't. He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Terran. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. So you're saying that Terran Loghain started from the bottom, now he's here? Started from the bottom, now his whole gang's here? Is that what you're trying to say? Um... Is the Tyrion inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. You can tell me just a little bit. Just a little bit. So yeah, I would like to, an audience. I would not. Just tell me a little something. I suppose as long as we talk quietly. Sure. That's between me and you. King have been arguing for days. Oh. The Tyrion's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. You don't the say. The speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. You don't say. Should I ask for an audience? Let's see. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Oh, that actually worked. Oh, hello. Have yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Uh, yeah, I've actually never done this before. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'm not a Grey Warden quite yet. You impressed his majesty nonetheless. He could not contain his excitement over your meeting. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Uh... N uh, a fascination you don't share? Yes. The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. Wow. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? My father was the Tyrion of High Ever. The King told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I certainly hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Hmm. You don't seem very fond of him, and if he doesn't... Then simply pray. Well. Straight to the point. Okay. Well, I must say, um... If I looked familiar, and he knew about my father, he would have known that he would have known me, I guess. It's the same thing. I'll take it anyways. Anything down here? Soldiers? Oh, yeah. Sack. Dagger. Is this better than what I have? No, but we'll take it anyways. Anything else over here? Oh, oh, it's this guy. Hello again. Hi. Do you need something now? Uh, just saying hello. What do you mean? Just saying hello? Oh, all right. Nice to see you again. So we're not going to talk. Can we talk again? Hello again. Do you need something now? Mm, what do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? Um... Should I lie to him? What if I lie to him? No, I don't want to lie to him. No, I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh, that's all right. Okay, I I guess I could have lied to him. I'm kind of curious to what that would have what that would have done, but I don't want to play it. I don't want to play her like this. Okay, I feel like she would be very honest. Um, have a lot of integrity. Let's talk to this guy. He looks important. Kinds. We're okay. getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance is something called a genlock. They're pretty common in the Horde, but we've seen others much larger. 
We don't know where these new Darkspawn are coming mm. from or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. There aren't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. Okay, can we talk to you now? Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be oh. burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Yeah, I won't touch it. Okay, let's go. To the wilds. I think, um... Let me see how far I can get into the... The quest line here. Just... Let's go through here. Hey, I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The yes. Gates open for you. Just Thank you. Be careful out there. Of course. Even a gray warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. I'm not actually a gray warden yet, but thanks for the warning. Okay, where's I was gonna say where's Alistair? All right, so. You know what? Oh. Oh! I didn't see you. Okay. It shall be done. As you say. I kind of want to get that loot mod because this can kick rocks. I just want to mod the whole game up, don't I? Now that I I feel like I can run the game without it crashing, I want to I want to download all the mods. All right, what's this? Missionary Jogby? Jogby? Aletta. Aletta. Letter to Jogby. Um, characters, maybe? And Kaylin. I'll. Duncan, Augie. Augie! You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. That's Alistair. Alistair was a novice Templar when Duncan recruited him into the Grey Wardens or rescued him, as Alistair would say. I was meaning to read Augie's. Little Codex, the Mabari is a clever enough to speak and wise enough to know not to. Varel's in Proverb, Natalia's Warhound has a pedigree older than High Ever and a penchant for driving cooks to distraction. I would say so. Right, so... Uh, where... Quests, quests, quests related? This is lighter to jog. Be Ooh, that is long. Okay. My dearest son, it pleases me that you wish to follow in my footsteps and bring the maker's word to the unenlightened. I wish you had chosen a less dangerous place to do so. Apologies for leaving early for the wild son, but I wanted to set up a camp and get things started. The chase and respect one with survival skills in the wild. So I hope to get a grip on that before you arrived. And maybe establish an agreement with the local tribes that, that we had friends when you came. When you reach the wilds, you will find it difficult to navigate. I've listed certain landmarks below. If you follow them, they will lead you to a location I've scouted out where I've left you some supplies. If you're lost, try to get back to that spot and I'll find you. The landmarks are as follows. Beginning at the entrance to the wilds from Ostagar. Look for a tree leaning on a ruined building. Pass under a fallen tree bridge. Pass a submerged tower on the right. Look between a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone. Walk along a path of roots and stones. Look for two large statues with a chest between them. There you will find our meeting point. I love you, Jogby, my son. I hope to see you soon, your father, Rigby. Rigby and Jogby. Okay, so look for a leaning tree, pass under a fallen bridge, submerged tower, ruined arch, a path of roots and stones, and then I should see a large chest. All right, so there's lots of bodies here. Over here. Okay, I see you. Who 
is that Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks. Is <laughs> he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. No, he certainly they looks came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. Are you going to survive? Um Let's try to bandage him up at least. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I, I've got to get out of here. Yeah. Maybe we should have taken him back ourselves. Is he gonna make it? Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. Stop. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? Calm Dozen, down. A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. Hmm. We should go back. Overcoming these dangers is part of our test? I would say so. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. <laughs> that is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Okay. All right. All right, with that, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here and continue on in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Uh, so please let me know in the comments below what you think so far. And uh, again, if you have any tips or trips, but no spoilers. All right, next time we will see how far Natalia and her uh, fellow recruits get in the Kokiri Wilds. Until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. Ciao.